Hi there, my name is Jacob, I'm 16 years old, and yes, I use coupons. I love that feeling. Hi guys, it's Jacob from the New England coupon character. CBS Black Friday equals free stuff equals run. And I am dumpster diving. Today, I'm talking toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. If I move these shoes, I could add another shelf. I should try to keep it in control, but, you know, it can't be tamed as Miley Cyrus says. Okay. Give me my personalized CVS coupons. This is an awesome deal. I am so clearing this shelf. Oh, crud. I need another cart. God. What does CVS stand for? Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome. Don't let make me holla, honey boo boo child. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a good coupon. <laughs> Bless up. Woo. Love you, Jesus. She sounded like a Rachel Ray who was upset with life. <laughs> My name is Jacob. I'm 16 years old. If you didn't get that from the entire ordeal at the beginning of the video with the raining coupons, we love a coupon here. We love flying coupons, especially. And so I'm 16 years old. I am not your average teenager, per se, because yes, I cut coupons. I started couponing back in the year of 2010, I want to say. It was my fourth grade summer going into fifth grade. And I was watching extreme couponing because I was a reality TV fanatic. What else would I be doing? I still am, <laughs> but I used to love The Biggest Loser. I would watch it religiously. I had the Jillian Michaels cookbook. I played it on the Wii actually, and each week they'd say like, oh, you gained three pounds, and I would internally cry. But I was watching Extreme Coupon and TLC, and I saw these people getting things for free, for really cheap, and I was like, I wanna do that. So I looked it up, I researched it, and I found out it's not actually that hard. And so from there, it kind of just, Kick started. I remember the first time I really came out about couponing was in fifth grade in English class because everyone would write stories about like cool vacations or summer trips, stuff like that, or their sports teams. And here I was writing about coupons. I wrote about it every single chance I could. And my fifth grade teacher came up to me and she was like, do you actually coupon? And I was like, of course I do. What else would I be doing in my free time? And from there, it really just kick started. My teacher actually got me into a local paper at the time, and I talked about coupons, my experience for couponing, and it was on the front page. It's really funny. And from there, it's just really been a whirlwind. I've been couponing for six years now. It is 2018 as I'm currently making this video. It's been a fun experience. It's been a fun ride. I started my YouTube channel back in 2014. My first video was a very small CVS haul. And from there, I've just been making videos, I've been sharing my deals. When I first started out, it was a way for me to not only just share deals, but kind of become a better couponer myself and just enrich myself with this completely weird, different online community. Mostly of moms, but also a few other young couponers, I guess, like me. And it was a way for me to legitimize my experience about couponing and reaffirm that I was couponing not only just for, you know, being trendy, being cool, but I was doing it for myself. It was fun, it was a hobby, and it was a way that I could help other people out as well. And this video right here, you may be wondering, why are you making this? It's basically to share my life as a couponer, what my experience is like, and a little bit of basics on how to coupon. So without further ado, Let's get on with the video. Cue the YouTuber music. Oh. 
but there's a lot of these in here. This is a good deal. I'm gonna use these later. As you can see, I am not the only crazy one about coupons in my house. Maybe not even coupons, but just about getting a good deal and stocking up. I don't know if maybe I got this philosophy from my mother or she got it from me, or maybe it was a combination of the two, but basically, I came home the other day and I just noticed this and I was like, I have to include this in the video. I guess my mother decided she needed to purchase a little under 200 bottles of water and we're not doomsday preppers, but um, I guess in that scenario, we'd be all set with this amount of water. It's really exciting when you see a lot of a certain item that was stockpiled, even though you didn't buy it. So that's great, this is fun. Um, I got a little excited when I saw this and I was like, you go mom. <laughs> It may not be Christmas time, but that does not mean I still cannot enjoy my coupon ornament. Coupon crazy. <laughs> Perfect! This is a good deal. I love a good coupon. Hey buddy, what you doing there? Uh-oh, uh, you're in the middle of class. Oh. I I'm doing nothing. Nothing. Oh, really? Wanted to end like this, but um, I don't think I've told you guys. I haven't really told a lot of people. It's a little hard for me to actually say, but I'm a couponer. I <laughs> I make videos online. I blog about it. I I use coupons to get things for cheap. It's it's really fun. It's a hobby of mine. I haven't told you guys. I so a lot of people know. You've all seen your Instagram. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, um, in that case, uh, take a coupon, take a coupon. Now go, go please, I have to finish cutting. This is a good deal. <laughs>Okay, so one day my mom ran into Jacob couponing at Target and she was so mad because she was spending all this money. And I told her how much money he saved at Target and she was so mad because she was spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and he spent like 83 cents. She was so mad. Well, I think it's great, you know, we need more couponers in the school and, you know, in the world. You know, they do such great things for us, so. Coupon this, bitch. Girl, I work at Stop and Shop. Ain't nobody get time for that. <laughs> you come through with a bunch of coupons in my aisle, I don't want to see you, okay? So put those coupons away in your little box. You have enough. Couponing. Hey, the best deal your mom's ever had was the buy one get one free deal 16 years ago. Ha! Ha! <laughs> so, what do you think about Jacob's couponing? I don't know, it just shows how much of a freeloader he is. Um, I think Jacob's couponing is interesting, but I think it's important because it's the only way that he gets any money. What do you think about Jacob's couponing? Um, I think it's going to be harmful towards his social life. One time I heard he saw Kelly Clarkson while couponing. No wonder he's obsessed. I'm extremely liberal, but Jacob's couponing is too much free stuff, even for me. Unsubscribe to this channel right now. The New England coupon character is a scam. I'll have you know that he's been keeping his coupon stash in a local CVS for months, and it caused the large CVS sign to fall to the ground and nearly kill people. I think someone should send help. Uh, he's not doing too well. I think he needs some coupon rehab or something. It's an unhealthy addiction. I don't. I don't know what to say. It might transform into a Facebook model for not yeah, yeah. uh, 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 One time, I saw Jacob buying twenty boxes of tampons. But that's just the tea. In the political climate that we're in, there are many things that seem to be controversial, that seem to be partisan, that seem nobody can agree on. And one of those things as well, which might contest Yanny versus Laurel, might contest is the dress blue and black or white and gold. That is the ultimate couponing question. Is it coupon or is it coupon? Let's ask some people. Is it coupon or coupon? Coupon. Really? Yeah. Coupon. Coupon. Is it coupon? Or coupon. Coupon. Is it coupon or coupon? 
很可爱。Is it coupon or coupon? Coupon. Is it coupon or coupon? Coupon. You say coupon, you're an idiot. Alright, so up next we have what some might call the big daddy of couponing and that's the stockpile. Everyone always asks me, do you have shelves in your basement? Do you have shelves in your garage? Do you have stuff all over your house? Do you have a stockpile? It's one of those hot topics as Wendy Williams, oh you're doing, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, as she would say, it's very popular to ask about because people watch extreme couponing they watch the show they see people with mini walmarts in their house and they want to know like do all couponers have that type of stuff in their house and i'm going to be honest i'm not one of those couponers that has 20,000 shelves in their house i do stockpile it is one of those principles as couponers that you kind of follow it's buy stuff as they're cheap so that way when things are retail you don't have to pay for it so i do have a stockpile i'm going to show you it it is located a little bit all throughout my house most of the stuff is located in my garage it's like the overflow the overstock and i will be honest i come out here i look at it sometimes i have fun organizing it all and please keep in mind i try not to hoard all this stuff i do like to donate i do do different types of stuff and i'll get into that later in the video but i thought i would show you my stockpile so without further ado here we go here is my stockpile Just to go over some of the quantities of the items I actually have in my stockpile, I have over 200 bottles of shampoo and conditioner, as well as over 200 tubes of toilet paper, over 50 packages and bottles of laundry detergent, over 30 tubes of toothpaste, almost 50 mascaras and eyeliners, and over 20 mouthwashes, and not to mention I have over 300 individual razors. And I could go on with the list. I think I have a pretty sizable stockpile. I hope you enjoyed it. I literally will come out here and stare at it sometimes, like I already said. I think it's pretty good. It's not as enormous as some of the ones that you see on Extreme Couponing, but if you were to value it all, I would calculate it as over $5,000 with the stuff. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed my stockpile. You've seen kind of my crazy life of couponing now that you've seen what I do what my life is like some of the crazy things that go on it's finally time to talk about how to coupon I don't know why I did a very theatrical like that so in general there are billions of coupons that are produced every year coca-cola was the first company to actually produce a coupon for free coke products I have a mini timeline about the entire history of coupons. If you would like to see that, I will leave the link in the description. Let's talk about coupons again. Billions of coupons are produced every year and only a small percentage of those coupons are used, which means this is your perfect opportunity to use those coupons and let them go to good use. So let's talk about how you find coupons, where you find coupons. The first way that you're gonna find coupons is through the Sunday newspaper. These are coupon inserts. There's the Red Plum, the Smart Source, and the P&G. These are the most common coupon inserts that you will find in your Sunday inserts. Buy a Sunday copy of the paper. I recommend this. I try to get a few copies. Sometimes I'll go to Dollar Tree. I know they have limited supplies, but for a dollar, that's a great deal considering you're getting hundreds of dollars worth of coupons some weeks. Now keep in mind that coupon inserts will not come in newspapers when it is a holiday weekend. These coupon inserts are great because they have hundreds of coupons provided by the manufacturers. 
So manufactured coupons are coupons that are distributed and produced strictly by the manufacturers. These are coupons that will reimburse the stores if they're used there. If you'll look on them, stores will actually make money because they'll receive a shipping and handling fee. It's usually about eight cents. So again, use these coupons here. And a bit of advice from a, for someone who's been couponing for a little bit of time now, don't throw these away. It pains me when I see people throw these away. I mean, sometimes I'll grab them myself, but it pains me to see people throw these away because this is money. Some people will cut out only the ones they want. They'll throw them away. Don't do that. These coupon inserts are precious. A lot of these coupons are good for a month, a few weeks at least. And so there may not be a sale on an item right now, but maybe in a couple weeks there will be. So for example, this Garnier, we have $2 off. Might not be on sale this week, but next week there might be a promotion and you really want to use this $2 coupon. You want to make sure you have it on hand. So make sure you keep and hold on to these coupon inserts. We'll talk about organization a little bit later on in the video. Another place you can find coupons are online. We are in a digital age. So what that means is there are various sites online which you can find coupons. About half of the coupons I use are from online. Now you can find both store coupons and manufacturer coupons online. I'll talk about store coupons a little later when I talk about specific stores. But manufacturer coupons can be found on coupons.com, redplum.com, and smartsource.com. These are probably the three most common coupon sources. Yes, I did say Red Plum, I did say Smart Source. They do have Sunday newspaper inserts as well. Now coupons.com, I probably get about a third of my coupons on there. Even if you are not going for a big couponing trip, go on there, see if there's any good coupons you want to print or any coupons you might be able to use for your trip. This is a great place to get valuable coupons. On this website, a lot of times coupons will have limits. You can only print two per computer. I have a phone as well, so I print coupons on there. I have a printer that works, um, that actually prints from Wi-Fi. So what that means is from like my Apple products, I'm able to print from them. So that's always a good source. Make sure you can get some good printable coupons online because you can only get two per device. And oftentimes you'll want to get more than that, especially when you want to stock up. As well, since we're in the digital age, I might as well bring this up. This is a little bit more advanced, but everyone has these things called telephones now. Let's use our telephones not only to print coupons, but also to use digital mobile apps um, for stores as well as rebate apps. Now, this can get a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna get too detailed into this, but a lot of programs have digital coupons at different stores. As well, there are different apps specifically for cashback offers. So for example, there's an app called Ibotta. What this means is you will load a coupon or a rebate onto your app. You go to the store, you buy it, you get your receipt, you take a picture of your receipt, sometimes you have to scan the barcode, and then in 24 hours usually, you will get your rebate back. Oftentimes it's organized by store and it's very useful. You know, you get some money back, you get $10 from just signing up. If you wanna use my link, I would leave it below. And so we're in the digital age, just make sure you're using all your resources very well. There's also Checkup 51, Saving Star. I know the Stop and Job app has some really good digital coupons and they're just good resources to make sure you're able to have access to. Store coupon policies will vary from place to place, from region to region. So before I talk about any type of store, I want you to right now look up on Google your store's couponing policy. I know at my grocery stores around me, they double coupons below a dollar. What that means is if something's 75 cents off, it will actually be worth a dollar 50 once you're using your store card and such like that. Now, of course, I'm assuming that you know you probably need a store card. I know some stores you don't need a store card. Um, look into that as well. That's really important to understand. So that way you can get the sales. There are something called flyers. I'm sure you know about these. You get these in the mail all the time. Oftentimes you'll get them with your coupon inserts. Sometimes the grocery store ads will come separately in like whenever during the week you get them. Mine is usually Thursday. The two stores I shop at is CVS and Stop and Shop. I do shop at a couple other stores, but not primarily. These are my two primary stores. When I first started out couponing, I had 10 different stores I was shopping at, and that was a complete cluster, you know what. Um, you get really burnt out and it's very crazy. You know, the hype of couponing at first, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. But it takes a lot of energy out of you when you're shopping at 10 different stores. So I recommend you narrow it down to one drug store. I usually do CVS. I know there's also Rite Aid. There's also Walgreens. Look into it. CVS is closest around me and I find it the easiest to shop at. That's why I pick CVS. As well as Stop and Shop. Again, it's closest to me and I find that they have good promotions. So these are my two stores that I like to shop at. 
at your store and look for different promotions. I know people hear drugstore and they usually think, oh, expensive $6 toothpaste and um, prescriptions that I wish I didn't have to fill. Well, that's really untrue, especially with my favorite store, CVS. They have really great promotions, especially with a program called Extra Care Bucks. Extra Bucks are basically money back that you get from buying participating items. They're usually shown in the ad. Sometimes it's spend $20, get a $5 extra buck, or buy this, get a $2 extra buck. And what that means is it's basically cash back that you can use on your next purchase. I know Stop and Shop has a lot of great promotions. They actually have a gas program. When you buy certain items, you'll get 30 cents off a gallon of gas. And you can do this at Shell Gas Station or their own gas stations. As well, I know they have promotions, which I recently have taken advantage of, and I will show you later in the video. When it's purchase certain items, save this amount of money, or spend $15, save $5 instantly. They also have Catalinas, which are basically coupons that you can use on your next purchase that print out after you buy certain items as well. So look into your stores, research what type of programs and promotions they have, because this is the best way we're gonna do this. As well, store coupons. I know people make fun of the CVS receipts, but don't make fun of them. These are valuable coupons, like $3 off $15 worth of razors. That's a really good coupon because a store coupon is a coupon that is produced by the store that they give out to their customers to incentivize them to come in and buy items. Oftentimes at stores, you can stack a store coupon with a manufacturer coupon. This is a great way to save money, but you usually can do this. Just make sure you look into your store's policies on the exact best way to do this because I know some stores are more strict than others. I'm going to show you some examples of deals that I did in store later on in the video, but I just wanted to bring that up. Make sure you are looking for the best way to save manufacturer coupon, store coupon, along with a sale and often a promotion. That's the best way to save at your stores, whether it be the drugstore or the grocery store organization. As a couponer, you want to be organized. Now, I am not the most organized person. Sometimes I will have coupons everywhere, but you don't want to do that. You want to be a good couponer. Find an organization method that works best for you. Remember, we're not throwing our valuable inserts away. What I do is I hold on to them. I don't cut them out because I usually don't have enough time. And I usually organize them by date. I have a little container. I put a sticky note on the date and I just keep them in there like that. You can all use to use folders. If you have time to cut them out, you can do that. You can use a binder, but that that's just too much for me. So now I just keep them whole inserts and that way, um, online once a deal pops up they'll usually provide the date and i can find it in here um, based on the seam of the inserts because they have the dates on them as for loose coupons i use this i don't really know what it's called it's a foldable like container it's not well i guess it could be a container but it's more like a um file mini file folder i think i got it at dollar tree or target you can get them really cheap i know dollar tree sells them for cheap but if you want a little nicer one go to target for a few bucks or staples or something and as you can see i have my various coupons in there now i keep my coupons kind of randomly organized but you might want to organize it by category as well when i make my list and i clip my coupons and put those together i will put them together in a slot so that way i bring this into the store actually so that way if there's any deals that i wasn't planning on getting and i have coupons i can get them as well and also so i can easily access my list i keep store coupons in here i keep loose coupons in here coupons i find in the store and printable coupons Make sure you're organized, whether it be something like this, which I find very easy for me, whether it be a binder, whether it just be a big crate full of inserts, or whatever you want to do, just make sure you're organized for couponing. So, now that we have talked about the basics of couponing, I'm going to be breaking down a few different deals that I have done this week, and I will be showing you them step by step. So, come along with me, and I'll show you them. Okay guys, so we are about to go live in store shopping. I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm gonna break down a few different deals for you guys so that way you can kind of see the process that I go through when it comes to, you know, getting a coupon deal. And so, before you go in, what you wanna make sure you do is look through your store circulars. I like to bring them with me. Find the deals, find the sales. We wanna match up our coupons with the sales. And then make sure you make a list. Um, even if you're not using a coupon on something, just so you go in with the right train of thought so you know what you're gonna get. You know what coupons you're gonna use as well. Make sure you have an organized list and plan going in. I always make sure I do, so let's go. Cereal is just one of those items you shouldn't be paying more than a certain amount of money for. No matter where you live, I think wherever you live, you can get cereal for under a dollar a box. So the deal this week is there are four for ten dollars for certain General Mills cereals. And there's a promotion when you buy four, you're gonna save four dollars instantly at the store from just using your card. Now, I'm gonna be baking up four various boxes, Honey Nut Cheerios, Lucky Charms, um, Reese's Puffs, uh, the regular Cheerios, their various products like that. I also have these 50 cents off manufacturer coupons from coupons.com. 
And at my store at Stop and Shop, they double any coupons less than a dollar. So say you have something for 75 cents, it's gonna be worth a dollar fifty. So my 50 cent coupons are gonna take a dollar off each box of cereal. Now keep in mind, I'm already gaining that four dollars off from the store promotion. And on top of that, I have a one dollar digital coupon which I have loaded to my card. And when I scan my card last, that will come off. So all in all, I'm gonna get four boxes of cereal for a dollar or 25 cents each and even if you don't use them there is another great promotion going on at my store when you buy six participating products you're going to get a free movie ticket and it's going to print out as a little catalina which is a coupon that prints out at the register that will give you a code i believe on fandango or something like that to give you a free movie ticket up to 15 dollars so that in itself is a really good incentive to buy items but the deal is buy six and you're going to get that so i am buying three of these kleenex wipes they're three for four dollars and i'm picking up three boxes of Kellogg cereal. I'm getting two Rice Krispies and one Fruit Loops. Now the deal is, again, you buy six. So I have three one dollar off manufacturer coupons, and that is for the Kleenex. So I'm going to use three of those. It's going to take three dollar off each of those, or three dollars off for the three. And again, they're three for four. As well, I have fifty cents manufacturer coupons on both the Kellogg's Fruit Loops and the Kellogg's Rice Krispie treats. Again, these will double at my store, any coupon below a dollar, so these are gonna be worth a dollar off each of those. And on top of that, I have a dollar off two Rice Krispies digital coupon and a 50 cents fruit loose coupon. So all that being said, I think I'm gonna pay about a dollar 30, something like that, and then I will be getting back a $15 movie card. This is why we scan our cards. Three dollar beauty buck. It's like someone giving you three dollars. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm in CVS right now. As you can see, our panty liners behind me. I'm <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So CVS, it's not just a great place to fill up your prescriptions. It's a great place to get different items like personal care, beauty, healthcare, various types of things, even food sometimes. And the key at CVS is to shop their promotions. Now, the promotional program at CVS is called Extra Care Bucks. That means when you purchase something part of an Extra Care Buck deal, you'll get like a credit, but it's a coupon off your next purchase, and you can use it on pretty much anything. And when you roll them week to week, you'll be finding out you're paying less and less out of pocket, and that's great. So one simple deal, not even extra care bucks that you need, is stacking just a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon. At CBS, you're allowed to do both. Now, this Colgate Optic White Toothpaste, it's on sale for $3.50. I have a $2.50 CBS coupon. We call them CRTs for couponers lingo because or special like that, and we have a $1 manufacturer coupon. So if it's $3.50, and we have a dollar coupon and a $2.50 coupon, that takes $3.50 off, free. I'll be brushing my teeth for free, and just wait, there's more oral care deals at CVS. Mm. Mm. Um, one of the deals this week is buying two Colgate mouthwashes. They are on sale for $3.99. Again, we're stacking a CVS coupon, which we got from the Red Box. That's what we call the little machine that you can scan your coupons at, and these $1 manufacturer coupons. We're gonna be purchasing two mouthwashes at $3.99. When you buy one, you're gonna get a $2 extra care buck deal. We're getting two of them, so we're gonna get $4 back. The limit is two. Essentially, that means is you can only buy two items and get extra care bucks back on those two. Um, you can purchase more than two items if you want, but you're not gonna get your extra care bucks on the third one, let's say. So, I have a dollar off a $5 mouthwash purchase. This is before manufacturer coupons, so I'm allowed to use this. And I have these $1 manufacturer coupons that I'm gonna be stacking with it. So this is $3 off. If they're $3.99 each, the total is gonna be around $7.98. Take $3 off. I'm gonna pay $4.98. I'm gonna get back $4.49 each, or $0.98 cents for both of them. That's a good deal on mouthwash. Typically, I like to get it for free, but it doesn't always work out that way. So for $0.49, cents, I will take it. 
little bit more of a serious note or the actual reason why I made this video is I am starting a new blog or program. It's called Couponing for a Change. What that means is as couponers, we're able to get things for cheap or for free. A lot of times we're benefiting ourselves, benefiting our families, sometimes our friends. What better way though to put our coupons to good use than by using them to help out our communities? By this, I mean there are tons of important causes out there that you can help for. For example, if you care about women's rights, you care about domestic violence, please donate feminine care products, beauty care, personal care, food even to women's shelter. If you care about animals, donate Dawn dish detergent, dog food, cat food, animal food, animal treats, all that type of stuff to animal shelters. If you care about hunger and poverty, please find a local food pantry and donate to those. There are tons of ways to help out and it is your chance to help out using coupons. I think that coupons may be 25 cents off something, but when you use them in the right way, they can make such a greater impact, not only on yourselves, but the people around you. And I know some people are so thankful for getting these types of items. So with that being said, I'm not just gonna tell you guys to donate stuff, I am actually gonna be donating some stuff myself. Now what I've wanted to plan to do is kind of on a weekly or monthly basis, is have a cause that people can contribute to in some way that I think would be very important and very helpful. Now this week's cause, as I'm making this video, it's going to be about childhood hunger. Now during the school year, children often get their best meals um, at school because of the free or reduced lunch programs there. However, during the summer times, oftentimes children face food insecurity. I believe it's like one in six children actually face food insecurity in the United States of America. That's just despicable to me. No child should go hungry. And because of that, I want you guys to look into local food pantries or local programs, national programs that you can contribute to. Whether that means with the money you save, donating some of that to the charities or for the programs that help out children. As well, the biggest way that we can help out as couponers in a local community way that I think is probably most feasible to all of us is to donate items that we have. I know where I live, there's a new initiative starting called Save the Summer Meal Program. And what that means, it's a program during the summer to help school children out who oftentimes are on benefits or who their families cannot receive the necessary items during the summer while they get maybe their better meals during the school year. So each week the program is trying to give out bags of goodies to different families in need. There are little educational items as well as food items and I know that they are very in need of some donations because it is a very new and it's a program that is starting up. So I'm going to be contacting um, the lady in charge of that to see if I can donate some of the stuff there. Now I'm going to be putting my coupon on some use. As you saw earlier in the video, there was a great deal on cereal this week, actually two great deals on cereal this week at Stop and Shop. So I will be stocking up on some cereal and I will be getting that for this program. As well, my local church has a food pantry. They serve over 100 people every year. It's a very small program. I implore you right now, look up centers, look up charities, look up programs, look up different initiatives that you can help donate to. As well, spread awareness, spread the word, talk about the statistics. Don't make childhood hunger seem like it's only for kids in Africa. Yes, you know, we need to help them out as well, but we have problems in our own country as well. And to make a small difference in our community is something we can all do. So put those good coupons to use and let's look at how many boxes of cereal I got. So my goal for today was to get as many boxes of cereal as I could for as little as possible because this week at Stop and Shop, they have some really good deals. You can get cereal boxes for 50 cents each. And I knew that there was a program in mind who could be using these types of cereal boxes. So my mission today is to get as many boxes of cereal as I can at Stop and Shop. And so I have a little assistant with me today who is helping things. Do you wanna say hi? Hi, I'm the grandmother. <laughs> Do you want to tell them what you do? Um, we have a food pantry at our church, and I work at on Wednesdays, and uh, I work that food pantry. And so, if Jacob's going to donate anything here, it would be a big help to our food pantry as well as his. Um, and do you want to tell them what your job is when we go couponing? My job is to drive the car. <laughs> Alright everyone, so after seven transactions, over an hour of shopping, over a hundred dollars in retail value, I was able to accumulate 34 boxes of cereal with my mere 50 cent coupons. So all in all, like I said, all of this would have been worth over $100. I paid $17.21. Now. Because of a promotion that my grocery store was having, I was able to get a free up to $15 movie ticket. So that means essentially if we take this out of it, like it was a reward because that's what it was, the total would have been $2.21. Again, I got 34 boxes of cereal. That brings it down to like 
seven cents a box if I my Asian skills are coming through. And yes, seven cents a box for all of these here. I got Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, Lucky Charms, Reese's Puffs, and Fruit Loops with mere coupons. And again, all of these cereal boxes will be donated. I'm not gonna hoard them. I'm not gonna let them go to use. There are two different causes which I will be donating these cereals to. So remember, if you see a good deal, get the deal. Even if you might not need 34 boxes of cereals because someone out there needs it and it is a great way to help others in your community and make a change in the world. Now, I want to thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I work very hard in making this video. I hope you thought there were some funny moments. If you're new to couponing, I hope you thought this was educational. I hope you thought it was interesting. And I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek into my life as a couponer. I wanted to talk to you guys about basically the very, very fundamentals of couponing. As well, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new program I started. Again, Couponing for a Change. I started a blog. It's called couponingforachange.blogspot.com. I will leave the link in the description. Please go to that. I'm going to be doing a lot more on that now. I'm still the New England coupon character, but I'm going to be the New England coupon character who is couponing for a change. So again, that link is in the description. I'll be talking about different issues on that blog, how you can help out. I'm only posting really good deals that you can use to either help yourself out, help your community out, or help anyone you know who needs help. So thank you all for watching so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. The New England Coupon Character. Bye-bye. Oh, I've been a lot of these in here. This is a good deal. I'm going to use these later.